made an absolute mess. This doesn't look cute, but I've officially gathered everything I need for my giant fairy tree. I have over 120 stacks of leaves, 33 stacks of oak wood, a bunch of stripped cherry, birch, fences, slabs, stairs, trap doors. It's a lot, but it's totally worth it. This tree will be the focal point of my base, the center of the circle, and honestly, kind of a landmark. It's gonna be pretty tall. I've wanted to build a proper treehouse for so long. I know I've built a few in the past, but they were much smaller than what I have planned for this. Just imagine, a big tree, lush with fluffy leaves, houses on branches, fenced balconies to look out from, and a spiral staircase surrounding the trunk. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and at the base of the tree, I'm building a storage room. Before I start building anything though, um, <laughs> I kinda wanna flood my base. Like I said, this tree is kinda tall, so if I fall while building, I'd rather not die. Hi, that intro you just watched was recorded 12 days ago and uh, nothing has progressed because as you could probably hear, I am ill. Have I been dying? Yes. Uh, have I lost my voice? <laughs> also, yes, uh, but it's coming back. It's not great, but I really want to build my fairy tree and I, I just don't want to wait anymore. So yeah, I know I sound stupid, but anyway. The ground is now wet thanks to the help of Shelby and Ollie. They came by with water buckets and I gave them both a diamond. Hello. 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 Looking for a job? I am. I'm broke. So, I'll give you each yeah. one diamond if you can help me flood my base. Flood it? F flood, flood it? it? You what? Why? Flood it. Do you mean everything uh. out here? Like the middle. I I'm building very tall. If I fall, don't want to die. You know what I mean? So, like, you know. I see. Oh. I all right, protection. let's do sure, it. Sure, all right. Can I flood on top of chests? Will they be okay, the stuff inside? They'll be waterlogged chests, I think. Really? You can do that? I think so. Wait. This will be a pain to clean up. Oh. This, uh, yeah, this will I'll be a pain to clean up. I'll take another diamond. This will oh. teach you a lesson. You know this is deleting all the I'll torches, right? The yeah, this isn't okay. going to be a very safe circle anymore. It's just, <laughs> no, it's, it's just, just, the, it's just, just the, the, the middle. Just the middle and like, right. so like these chests are the middle. Can't and even, leave even, even a spot even house. inside of the house? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when water does that thing where it just flows in one direction for no reason. Yes. Mm. That's like, gravity. Yes, not. Oh, no. I can't even find the infinite oh, no. water source anymore. This feels like griefing, Catherine. <laughs> it's not griefing. It you're like, getting paid for it. It feels like I'm doing. It feels like I'm doing a bad thing right now. No, you're it feels doing like a great thing, Ollie. You're keeping me safe. See, this is safety. This is safety. Mm -hmm. This is what safety looks you like. You look safe, Catherine. What would you say if I'd accidentally turned everything into an infinite water source? Oh, wait, what do you mean? As in, this has now become a, a pond. Oh. Your house is a pond now. Well, now it's, it's okay. just extra safe. It is, yeah, no, it is. Yes, it's extra safe. It is. Safe. Oh. I just worry about the cleanup of what you've asked oh. us to do here. It just keeps spreading more. I didn't really, I didn't really think about the after. You didn't think about the after because the after is going to be quite a problem, I, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All aboard the SSOS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we can sail around my bed. Let me on. Do speed boat. Let me in. Oh no! You can't see. Oh! 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 <gasps> What's that? I'm, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I can't get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it do that? We went underground. It started sinking. Oh wow! It's very, it's very good. <laughs> It's very, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, it's very safe. It's very Incredibly safe. safe. Did our job. It's very, very safe. Okay, hold on. I need to go swimming to get the diamonds. I think it's under here. Wait, I, can't, I can't open my chest. I put a dirt block over it. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. <laughs> this has been very helpful. Ooh, thank you. Here's a thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, we basically just you. got to be chaotic. Anytime you get, you want grief and doing, we'll we'll oh, do yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Catherine. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Catherine. Thank Don't you. Don't somehow take fall damage. That would be embarrassing. I'll try not to. In one spot. This will be annoying to get rid of, but that's a later me problem. Right now, it's time to build a treehouse. Hi, what's what's up with all the water? Oh, it's 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 my safety uh, net in case I fall while building. Oh, oh, it's like feather falling. Well, hi. Uh, we haven't met yet. I'm Mog Swamp. Hi, I'm sick. <laughs> oh God, you are sick. It's so sad. I don't normally sound like this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's sad. It fills me with 
sorrow. But anyways, yeah, I am I am here to mm -hmm. ask you if you need any favors from me. Is there anything that I could do to make your life easier or better? Any blocks you're missing? Hmm, okay. Well, I did ask Sausage to get me Feather Falling 4, but like, if you could also get it, like, I'm not gonna turn it down. Okay, I mean- That so might be kind of annoying to get, though. I don't know how you're gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got a whole villager set up, so. I can get you a Feather Falling book. I will grind that out right now. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna get you Feather Falling and I'll be back soon, okay, Catherine? Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you, bye-bye. Then a few minutes later, after a bit of building, he came back. What the heck happened? I blinked. All Literally all I did was go to my base and roll for that trade over and over again. And in that time you built all of this. Now I've got a tree. It's like halfway done. Oh. <laughs> well, here you go. I, I oh. can't quite. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, you're down here. Okay. Thank you. Yes, oh you're welcome. Gosh. Oh, now I'm not gonna be so scared. I I've been jumping into water this whole time, but like now I feel better. Nope, nope, no more water. We're getting rid of it all. Yeah, I know. I gotta get rid of it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'll help you. <gasps> yes. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, you are the best. There we go. Oh, that looks new. so much better. Oh, so much better. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I could see the water mess from my base for like a straight week. It was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna say it was ruining my life, but it was ugly. Close. No, I know it was ugly. It was bad. <laughs> oh! Oh, look nice. at my feet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That sounded weird. I'm so sorry. But look at my feet. <laughs> For free? <laughs> look at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I could fall from, like, maybe, like, yeah, half go my test it out and survive? No, go I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I want to no, do that. Okay, okay. I'll put them on. I'll put them on. Please don't die here. <laughs> If I die, this will be the stupidest death <laughs> on the server. Don't. Right. Please don't die. Woohoo! Oh, oh just two hearts. Not even close. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you can just jump off willy nilly. Just make sure you have two hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my boots! We officially have Feather Falling Four. I'm so excited. I feel safe now. I can fall from higher distances. I mean, not like too high. I can't like, you know, go to the sky and fall. But like, you know, at least I can jump off from here and be safe. Anyway. Since Mog helped me clear all the water up, let me show you what I have so far. Da -da -da. Stop, this looks so cute. It's only half done. Oh, there's still a bunch more to go. Obviously, everything's kind of um still messy, messy all over the place. Uh, just don't look at that. But you know, it's coming together. I love that I can just literally walk around the entire tree. I think that's the most fun part of this. I also love that if you zoom all the way out, it looks like the tree has fairy wings. But okay, now that you got a peek of my progress, let's finish this build. Look at this tree. I think it's one of my favorite builds. There's so many places to walk around and explore. There's four buildings, including my starter house. Then we have the wraparound staircase, and there's even hanging fairy lanterns. Let me show you around. So you're already familiar with my starter house, but what's fun is that this is actually connected to the inside of the tree now. As you already know, this is gonna be my storage room. It's messy right now. I really, I have a lot of cleaning up to do. But yeah, so you could get around this entire tree house by just going up these ladders to access other places quickly. But let's walk around the tree together. So right out the front where the roots are growing, we have this beautiful birch path that leads us all around the tree. It is kind of a, a leisurely walk to get around. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a while, hence why I added ladders. But I can appreciate the longer trip every now and then. It feels so cozy under the leaves. Oh, I forgot to mention this. As we walk up, we have like these little 
peekaboo window things sticking out of the trees. They're not really buildings, but there are spaces inside for stuff. So you can see one right here, and then there's another on this side right here. As we continue up this path, we'll find the first building. Obviously, right now it's empty. Everything is kind of empty and not decorated yet, but I was thinking that we could put my enchantment set up in here. Around this first building, we have a walk around balcony that'll lead us to this staircase, and then up these stairs, we have our second building. There's a small balcony to the left, and then if you go in this building, you actually get a pretty good view of spawn. Now, if we want to get to the very top of this treehouse, we have to go through this door and up this ladder. I think my favorite part of this treehouse is the fact that I can see so much from every angle. Like, if we go back down this way, we can literally see the entirety of Mog's base. And then if we go all the way to the top, we can see Sausage's place. If you take the ladder instead of the stairs, you'll find this small room that has a little lookout window in the front, a lookout window in the back. And then if you keep going up this ladder, this actually brings you to the first building. The other small room is the one you saw earlier when I had to go up this ladder to get all the way to the top. And that's about it. I love this treehouse. And now that I finally have a home base, we can clean up this mess and properly move in. We have a chest room. Is it organized? No, not at all. But all my stuff is in here now. But yeah, so this is my storage room. It's smaller than my past ones, but I think it's really cute. We have a pink checker printed floor. I outlined the chests and trap doors. I made another lantern and a fun ceiling. As you guys already know, my enchantment setup is still in my starter house. Hello? How is this possible? Whoa, wait, how are you here? How? One moment. Hello? Here, walk into the fire. Do it, ow. Unfortunate. But anyway, as I was saying, before I got interrupted by pilgers, I wanna move this enchantment set up to another building in the treehouse, and then we could decorate. Okay, so wait, up here we have the new enchanting room. Obviously we got a bunch of bookshelves, our enchantment table, a chest for stuff, some plants and lights. And this is my new room. I only decorated two out of the four buildings because I don't really know what to put in the other two spaces. I also don't know what to put in the tiny rooms inside the tree. So let me know in the comments what you think they should be. In my bedroom though, we have a cozy bed of course with some carpet. We've got blossoms and vibes for fairy vibes. Back here we have a little reading nook with some books and chairs. I've got some sheep heads that were giving to me. I did not kill for these. And I also have my fake coins on display. Now you may be wondering, Wondering, Catherine, how do you have two more fake coins? Well, let me show you. You wanted to, you wanted to jump from the sky to the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna get an extra coin. Have you done that yet, Flip, or not? No, not that jump. So you wanna deal with me? Sure, why not? Let's, Let's go, go jump uh, off uh, of a if cliff. If anyone has it, Catherine, you, have you done it? No, I, I wanna do it. it. Nice. But right, if I die, we... please, 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 please save me. I'll revive you, Catherine. Thank you. Oh, he's going, 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 he's Genuinely beating. That right is okay. Now. It's I okay. It's okay. We're gonna live. Chest. We're gonna live. <laughs> There's not enough space. Going. Jump. I'm going. I'm doing it. Ah! Ah! I did it. I did it. I did it. I got a fake coin. All right. Well, uh, 
good job on the bundles everybody we finished them all up but uh one weird thing the the fates only gave me 13 coins back and there's 14 of us here on the server so anybody oh, want to own up that they didn't oh. who's this little shy fella oh. over here okay well uh Here's your coin. Have a Thank coin. You. Have Thank a you. coin. Ooh. Coin for you. Oh, coin, coin for you. Give me my coin. Yay, coin. Like coin. After our coins were given, Flip announced the second server event. Time for the second event. Woo! Woo! This time we're expanding spawn. The fates require your help. Your next challenge is to build something at spawn to assist the server as a whole. After completion, the server members shall vote to determine if you have successfully added something that enhances and helps the spawn environment. You must receive eight votes to pass inspection and getting eight votes will give you a fake coin. Now I've had some time to think about this and I've decided that I'm gonna build a small food truck in spawn that says milk cookies and cakes are cookies and cakes uh really valuable not no actually I, I don't think they're great food sources at all but the milk is handy for those trying to get wither skulls my contribution is gonna be like half cute half useful but before we start working at spawn we have to officially name the barn i took a look at your comments and the majority said to call it the blossom barn it's perfect but okay i actually went ahead and i started getting things together for my future little shop food truck thing so we've got a bunch of weed a bunch of egg sugar a couple buckets and some cocoa beans with this I should be able to make everything I need except I do have to actually put milk in here hello cows I have come for your milk Okay, first let's grab our wheat, our eggs, and some, literally can't hold anything, hold on. And some sugar. And now how many cakes can we make? One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, I made enough for a single chest with a little leftover for decoration. Now let's grab these cocoa beans and wheat to make some cookies. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Oh, I have almost a full chest. I have 24 stacks, but I really want 27. Okay, hold on. Let's put the rest of my cookies in here. We'll grab my jungle logs and grow some more cocoa beans. There we go. Now that we have all our stuff to sell, let's go to spawn and build a food truck. Look at how cute this is. Obviously we have our food truck, but uh, since we're selling baked goods, we could also call it the bakery bus. We've got snowballs as headlights, cherry logs as tail lights, a little awning, and a place to order your food. Inside the truck, I still have to make a, a few trips, but I do have all the cakes in here. I just need to bring over all the milk and cookies. In front of the truck, we have some places to sit, and behind the truck, there's a picnic area. Now, the one thing that I'm kind of unsure about is what to charge for these things. Because I can only stack cookies and not cakes or buckets of milk, we're gonna have to decide on something that's fair. Now, I don't know about you, but I really want diamonds. So maybe we can do five cakes for a diamond, five milk for a diamond. And because the cookies are so easy to make, we can do five cookie stacks for a diamond. Right next to my food truck, I added my book and lectern where people can sign. Hopefully they will so I can get a fake coin. But it's not just me that needs signatures, it's everybody. So let's see, we have Flip store now. I actually saw this earlier, uh, but before it was finished, I did already sign the book because Flip is selling beacons and wither killing kits. Across from here, there's a cute stable that Scott built for our horses. I personally don't have a horse yet, but when I do, I can park my horse right here. Let's see, did anybody sign this yet? Flip and Sausage signed it. Hold on. Now I've signed it. While I wait for people to hopefully sign my book, I'm gonna go gather materials for the next big project. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how I should decorate the rest of my treehouse. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.